been finding random movies and I thought it would be fun to do a video of these random movies. Get some light in here. My cool ass garage. Oh. Um, there's the, there's probably like in here, there's probably so many more movies in here. It's ridiculous. See me okay? Anyway, so I just come across random boxes of movies, and it, it doesn't mean that these aren't good movies. It just means they're not on my current movie shelf. I'll I'll probably start another movie shelf one day, but so just some random stuff. Um, number one, I feel like this should be on my my shelf. Uh, Todd Sheets Zombie Bloodbath, which is this is a terrible camera angle. Um, anyways, Todd Sheets, Zombie Bloodbath. There's three movies on here. One's from 1993, 95, and then 2000. Pretty badass. Um, commentary with Todd Sheets. This is a cool one. I might need to take this out. Um, this is definitely in here because it's a fucking pile of crap. Bone Sickness. Not a fan of this movie at all. Five dollars. Good cool cover cool disc very bad movie i bought this at movie gallery i got a couple movies from movie gallery okay this is probably my least favorite movie i've ever bought my hard-earned money um i fucking hate this movie uh automaton transfusion this is the worst fucking zombie movie i've ever seen in my life um, and, and the thing that makes this movie even worse to me is I bought this from Walmart for 10 bucks. It wasn't a big deal, but <sighs> unrated and undead. One of the best zombie films in decades, the Holy grail of true independent horror movies, bunch of special features. I was like, man, this is going to be great. Look at this DVD, man. The Holy grail of true independent horror films. Worst fucking movie ever. The people who made it, I can't stand. They just, ugh. I feel like the dudes who made this movie listened to a lot of Atreyu. Which I like Atreyu, but like, come on. Not very cool. They're, they were like really heavy into Avenge Sevenfold back in the day. You know what I mean? Um, A lot of my zombie movies made it in here. Another movie that was hyped a lot when I was younger on the internet that I didn't really care for is the movie I Zombie. Everybody's like, oh, he jerk, it's a zombie and he jerks. There's a scene where he jerks off. Um, I do like this DVD. I'm happy I own this, I guess. Maybe not happy enough because it's in here, but. And then I got a bunch of these 50 in 1 DVDs, which I love these, by the way. Those, those do belong inside at some point. Oh, here's some good stuff. So sometimes I just buy movies when they're super cheap just because I want to watch them, you know? It's just something I've always done. I'll go to Walmart, get a pizza, and get some movies for the weekend. So I end up with stuff like Nicolas Cage and Tony Jaa and Jiu-Jitsu. I don't even know if I finish this. I don't know if this is even watchable, but I, I own it. It's here in my garage. Uh, here's a pile of crap. Day of the Dead, the like fourth remake that they've done of Day of the Dead. Uh, not it was a bold and new reimagining of the George A. Romero classic. No, not good. Not a good one. Uh, oh, I want to I want to point out, and I should have known this. I got this when I was like twenty, but I should have taken note on these fucking crazy quotes on Automaton Transfusion. They're all from the same website. And let's guess what stupid website would consider this the holy grail. Bloody disgusting. Idiots. They have been putting out, they've been helping put out some pretty good movies though. I've, I've in the last 16 years since I bought Automaton Transfusion, I, I have kind of forgiven Bloody Disgusting a little bit. It's kind of weird. It's like now I can't stand Fangoria. I think Fangoria got bought by some. I don't know, man. I can't stand Fangoria. 
Um, one of the worst remakes. Travis Z's Cabin Fever. Ugh. Ugh. Terrible movie. I did like the um, ending credits. I thought the ending credits were pretty cool, but terrible fucking movie. Let's see. What else? What else can I dig out of here? Hell World. Hellraiser Hell World. It's evil goes online. Um, yeah. You gotta love the Hellraiser movies. I think that DVD is worth money now. It's worth that money. One of these multi packs. I definitely probably got this for Children of the Lane Dead. But it also has Creepy Crawlers, Deadly Species is good. Bloody Murder and Bloody Murder 2 are awesome. Um, my mom and dad rented Bloody Murder 2 one Halloween. Because I'd always watch Halloween movies with my mom. Go, I'd go do my party and when I got older and then I'd come home and we'd watch horror movies. Uh, if you've seen Bloody Murder 2, there is a lot of uh, boobies in that movie. So that was kind of an uncomfortable watch with my parents. <laughs> This is a really good one. This one has Dracula 2000, The Prophecy, Subspecies, um, Castle Freak, From Dust Till Dawn, and The Faculty. That's a really good eight movies. Probably got that for like five bucks. That's a badass one. God's Not Dead too. The, the chick. Um, what was her name? I forgot her name. The chick from uh, the show with the witch. Sabrina, the Teenage Witch? Yeah, there it is. Um, I cannot show this one to you. Um, horror Girl. Horror Girl. Is it Girls or Horror Girl? I think it's just Horror Girl. I can't show you guys the cover, but I'll read it to you. <clears throat> a friend sent this to me. I ordered some Seb Godin movies, and I got a copy of this for free. Uh, to make it in showbiz, you got to spill some blood. This is for the members of the band Horror Girl is not a problem. Creatura, lead vocals, and Slay Me, drums, percussion, accidentally electrocute their boy toy Fang, bass, and keyboard. Undeterred, they reanimate him as their superhuman boombox and storm the stage to take on the amazing spellcaster in the battle of the band. If Creatura can only exercise a demon that possesses Slay Me's skull, Horror Girl just might sink to the top of this damned business. Rao V. Hill came out in 1995 it's not open either but it's covered with naked women i was just showing my wife i was like hey check this out i think i got this at a thrift store because i didn't have uh friday the 13th part five um and it's obviously part of a collection i probably got it for like 25 cents i have all these now in a better set we got some werewolf movies some random ass low budget werewolf movies. We got some Roger Corman shark movies. Shark to Puss, Dino Shark, and Dino Croc versus Super Gator. Some good stuff, man. I wish I was still a huge stoner because I'd be all over that. Peter Tear, Sci Fi. A hundred. I got a hundred movies in one. These are so cool. They have all those movies are in this one box. Super cool. Got some Sonny Chiba, Jackie Chan, and Bruce Lee movies in a box set. Let me see what I got in here. Zach and Miri make a porno. This is uh, Kevin Smith trying to be Judd Apatow. Not, not terrible. I like. I really like Elizabeth um, Banks. I liked. I'm pretty sure she's the one that directed Cocaine Bear. I enjoyed that. I'm a huge. I'm very interested in the inventor Tesla, so I was really excited to check out this movie. Awful. Awful fucking movie. Terrible. Just just the worst. Terrible. You'd think this cool ass cover with this on the back would be great. It wasn't. You got a random Fast and Furious. Don't know what number in the collection that is. <sighs> Creature collection. Snow Beast, Demon, Blood Tide, Lady Frankenstein, and Night Fright. Dude, Lady Frankenstein is rad. I like Lady Frankenstein. Terrible remake of Wrong Turn. That definitely belongs in here. 
Reincarnation. One of our my mom used to get me these for my birthday. She gave me the After Dark Horror Fest films. Um, I have a bunch of these, um, and they're cool. Like they had a bunch of special features and stuff. I don't remember this movie at all, but I'm happy I have one of these laying around just so I can talk about it for a minute. I got two of these pure tears. I think my brother-in-law got me some of those. I have to hold on to this forever just so I can pull it out and be like, fuck this movie. Um, all right. This one's cool. This has... I probably got this for Halloween Resurrection and Roman. Roman... I don't know if you can see that. Roman's a Lucky McKee movie. I know Lucky McKee's kind of having a... Lucky McKee's having a pretty good go with these Triple uh, X trilogy that he's been doing. But um, I believe he's he is the original director of... Oh, it's hot in here. Um, May, which is like one of my favorite indie flicks. Get and uh so roman was a follow-up to may and i believe angela is it angela Betty's Betty's. yeah angela Betty's um directed that and she was the she was may and lucky mckee's may so she got to do a movie called roman which was a similar story so a different kind of lonely guy i guess um, we got the New Zealand classic Sheborg, which is a really cool cover. Not a very good movie. Um, Vietnam. Yep. Just some cheery stuff about Vietnam. Got a second. Got some cool grindhouse. Um, these are like all the different Bruce Lee impersonators. And their movies. It's pretty cool. I think I bought this purely for um, Equilibrium. There's some good stuff on here. Fortress. Phantoms. Faculty. Just some fun sci-fi flicks. But Equilibrium's great if you've never seen Equilibrium. Got some Jackie Chan flicks. The Young Tiger, Fire Dragon, Eagle, Shadow Fist, and Fantasy Mission Force. Some early Jackie Chan. I got this on Blu-ray. Blu Fantastic movie. Probably one of my favorite. Um, I, I, I like the Dolph Lundgren Punisher too, but man, that, that movie was like, when I came out, I was like, holy shit. <sighs> Children of the Corn 2. Probably Killjoy. Probably got this for Killjoy. I wanted to watch Killjoy one night. It was cheap enough. Nothing but crap on that. Chupacabra. This movie's pretty cool. Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. This is a pretty fun movie. I enjoyed watching that. Um, it says the prom night, the first two prom nights on it. Great. House by the Cemetery, Silent Night, Bloody Night. Another one of those bunch of movies in one. Crap. This is pretty cool. Um, the Italian zombie movie. The double feature DVD. This is this was pretty fun to watch. I enjoyed this. It's a double feature. I guess I'm getting into video games. I got Morrowind. Fallout 3. <laughs> Just a random box full of shit. Oh, here we go. So my mom would always get me bad movies. That's how I got like a copy of the rest stop. And people are like, how do you, why do you know what the rest stop is? And my uncle Mark likes horror movies. So we would talk about these movies a lot. And it's just fun to look at the worst possible movies we could. Um, the, the, the cream of the crop, cream, cream of the, whatever. One of the better ones that my mom got me was um, demonic. Tom Savini's demonic. 
What a fucking horrible movie. And then I got, my mom got me the first remake of Children of the Corn. The new one's about to come out on Shutter pretty soon. Um, Children of the Corn is a very, I posted on Facebook recently, my favorite Children of, Children of the Corn is Children of the Corn 3 Urban Harvest, which probably shouldn't be my favorite, but it is. It's the best one out of all of them. Um, bug movies, creepy bug movies, Zombie, Dogman, Attack of the Giant Leeches, Embryo, Croc. Croc was cool. I think I watched Croc. Michael Madsen's in Croc. Rampant, Korean zombie flick. This is a cool movie. The Belko Experiment's great. Got all the Fridays. Great. Don't know why that's in here. Uh, this is really cool. Um, Screamer Claws even signed this. But Reality Bleeds. A Reality Bleed Through. And it's all of his short movies. It's a bunch of his short short films. You gotta make them stop. Smooth Man, Homicide is a form of art. Moose, Megatron, Santa, Child. Oh, I'm not gonna read that. Fly off the hand. Yeah, cool stuff. Screamer Claus signed that. The original Wolf Creek. Is that Strangers? There's a cool movie, The Witch. There's there's a volume two to that. I think you can watch those on Shutter. Um, just fucked up, sad shit attempt at Shaun of the Dead. Fucking joke of a movie. Worst $5 I ever spent. April Fool's Day and My Bloody Valentine. Great movies. Kung Fu Zombies. I think this has Gordon Liu, uh, Billy Chong, Eddie Ko. Just cool ass like martial arts zombie movies. This is a great movie. I don't know why this is in here. German. Uh, zombie flick, Night of Living Dorks. I don't even think I have it. I don't know. It's not in there. Terrible movie, Necropolis. And last, but not least, I'm missing one of my movies, dog. But I don't really care that much. Um, The Dead 2. Actually, Least. This is... This is a horrible follow-up to the Ford Brothers. Um, wonderful. 2010, 2011, whatever year it came out. Um, they made a really cool zombie movie that came out. And it was amazing. It was so good. And that was the same movie all over again. Only not as good. Very disappointing. Um, I don't know where the other one is, but I have both of these films. Um... These are Bruno Mattai's like final uh, zombie flicks that he did. He did a double feature. They're not very good though, but I'm glad I own them. Okay, I'm out. This video is almost 20 minutes. So there's a random DVD box for y'all. There might be more in here. I don't. In fact, I know there's more because I can see. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see very well. There's. Can you see? There's one buried that's full of fucking movies. So when I come out here to clean, get my office set up, I'll, I'll show you guys what's in there. Because there's I can see Clerks 2. Uh, plus, I'm looking for my bootleg of Blood Diner. I don't know where it went. And if Jackie Kong sees this, I, I sorry, I have a, I'll get the real thing. I'm sorry. I'll get the best drawn Blu-ray release so you get royalties. Okay, I love you. Bye.